Bug. There, oh, there we fucking go. Like, okay, like, I... I have to say, fucking... Okay, so <laughs> Will Smith, it does not no, look correct. It, no. It's so weird. It's Will Smith's face on a fucking fish. Okay, so the context is. Yes, I have. I picked for... a random game for a lucky charm for today's recording. We just spent an hour wasting time doing nothing. So here I am. Why did I, why did I just go to a random ass fucking act? He fucking picked Shark Tale on I, the I Game Boy Advance. Shark Tale on the Game Boy Advance video. Video, not Game Boy Advance. Video. So it's it's so it's so fucking great. Like it, no, no, hold on. No, so, it's it's this basically is the greatest game of it's, all time. It's Shark Tale, the the movie, but compressed onto a Game Boy screen. Fucking load. Please, for the love of. Is <laughs> it is, it is, it is going great. I told you, I was fucking ready. I was ready for this moment. 2005 this came out. So, I was watching this on my DS Lite back as a kid. Just look at how quality, look at how quality this fucking menu is. Oh, oh, so compressed. Oh. God, you can oh, barely boy. see the chapter. Oh my god! <laughs> bon appetit! <laughs> you can literally see it frame by frame. You wanna listen like, how bad the fucking compression is? <laughs> <laughs> it's so great! Oh my god! Okay, that's enough of that. Let's start the trial! Let's start, let's, let's watch fucking thing go down. Okay, before we start, I just want to Before we start, please like and subscribe, comment, di but do they donate to the PayPal as well. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I'm gonna <laughs> speak. I just want to say something. Robo Justice said no simps, and we're off. Robo Justice says no simps allowed, no buddy. No simps. <laughs> Hold we're all there. I am- <laughs> Shadow Clone Jitsu! <laughs> I was like, wait a minute! He's, he's multiplied! What? Um, no, not multiplication! Shadow Clone Jitsu! A secret art from the Hidden Leaf. <laughs> I'm moving so fast, it only looks like I'm multiplied. You guys tell which one's the real Monokuma? We just got in the elevator already. Yes. I'm more of a Bleach fan myself. <laughs> You're not playing along. Along, along. I'm not here to play with you. I'm here to watch some. Hey, hey! <laughs> Please board the pain train. Elevator. Don't, don't mind what I just said. It's not like you're being shipped to a random location outside of the fucking school. Wanna come in? Give training? Hold up. Okay then, shall we? Keep Human trafficking. Same. The biggest China. human trafficking ring leader, Monaco. Just imagine him sitting on a fucking throne while fucking <laughs> this. Hold on, I'm not. What the heck? Can't run anymore from your sins. <laughs> 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 wow. You know. You know, everyone. When everyone was running around looking for hero, yeah. they're always asking, "Where's hero?" But they never ask, "How's hero?" Is what was happening. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume or the note? Well, no, but, uh, you know, how unfortunate. It would seem that we have our culprit. Oh my god, the word unfortunate has been fucking ruined. Hey. This fucking Ragna. Ragna always fuck. Whenever we're playing a game and he fucks so someone over, he's like, oh, how unfortunate. And I, like, especially in Among Us. He'll catch someone in the act, he's like, oh no, how unfortunate that is. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. Right, let's get down there first, then the story can really begin. Yeah, yeah good I, idea. The story of my new favorite anime, Metsu no Yaiba. That's also right. known in English as Deep. <laughs> I can't let whoever killed Ifumi attack and get away with it. 
Fumi oh. Taka, but Fumi could go straight to hell. You hey, know? you know you ki you killed you killed a Fumi. You know, I'll, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. You know, mm. but my old boy Taka, however, you know, just 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 tell me who you are. I'll actually help you. I do not care if I die. My goal in life has been reached. <laughs> I am descended for everyone who's still alive, and for one, one that lost their life. One specifically, one. Who's that? Oh shit, Tak is dead. <laughs> oh. Damn, that's one body in there. The one who killed Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. One of our friends. Oh, one of our friends. The killer is. Someone right here. It's the camera. <laughs> How? Have you ever seen the movie The Drone? No. It is a horror movie with a drone, and it's so silly. Really? Yes. You know, there's there's already a fucking horror movie with uh with Zoom. With Zoom calls? Oh, what is it? What was it called again? I don't know what it's called. But someone already made that. It was like Unfriended? Unfriended or no, something? No, that was an older. That's a lot, a lot older. Oh. I'll look it up later. Oh. I just saw an ad for it on YouTube. The steel box began to move. Plunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There's no going back. I'm too horny now. <laughs> There's no going back. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up to a cruel fate. Just how I'm gonna slide into Kyoko's DMs, am I right, hero? God. <laughs> oh, that's right, you're being convicted for murder. Well... Well, I see you all gathered together like this. I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Just the worst. Well, because of you, and because of the player playing this game, and is halfway through the game. Yes, um... We culture. are the bad ones! We are the villain! Hi, why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? Man, you know what's not cruel? Legalizing weed in all of the world. No. Man. Fucking skip ahead, you're taking this bit too far. Oh! Fuck, almost oh, time to restart. Oh no. Oh whoa. Stop okay. gooping around and begin the trial. That's what we should have said to ourselves an hour ago. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Black Girl. Don't rush me, of course I'm gonna start it. Never be like, stay tuned for this action packed fast trial after this commercial break. Ahem! Never <laughs> <laughs> hold you out like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. Oh, the curtain once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception. A deadly deception. <laughs> a deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly class trial. All right. So, who took my can of root beer? <laughs> Do I actually have to tell that story now? I've already told you the story of how I got suspended over. Right. No, no, listen, listen, let's just stop what we're doing right now and let's yeah. tell the story, okay? Yeah. So, 8th grade, right? Yeah. I was eating lunch, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, fucking, okay, so I was eating lunch, right? Yeah. And, uh, this kid goes, I'm not gonna say any names, because it's on a video, but you'll know who. Uh, let's just say, kid, name starts with an M, ends with an O. Right. And he, while the other kid goes to the bathroom, steals his can of root beer and hides it in one of the cupboards. But we didn't know that. None of us knew that it was him that did that. Until later. Because then, he walked back in the classroom, the guy who went to the bathroom was like, Where the fuck's my root beer? He was like, Oh, Dan took it. I was like, what the fuck? No, he's like, give me my can of root beer. I was like, I don't even have it. He throws a fucking banana at me and it starts coming up at me and trying to fight me and I fucking punch him in the face because he's like about to throw a fucking desk at me and I gave him a black eye by accident because I didn't mean to throw it that hard and then he fucking started fighting and he was like what the fuck's going on and then it's like he stole my kid of rupee I'm like no I don't I here I was like oh you don't actually have it oh shit well who has the root beer then <laughs> and they were like we're trying to figure out who the fuck has the root beer we have this whole fucking phoenix right fucking Shit, trying to figure this out. 
I was the imposter. <laughs> and then I got suspended because I fucking punched someone self defense. So you know that's fun. Always in self defense, nevertheless. All right, the victims are Taka and, Taka. and only Taka and only Taka. The blue tarp was caught under key. Yep. So let's assume that this is a bit used to move Taka. Right? Yes. And that was also used. This also clearly it went under his blood stain. Yep. Or, Yumi's glasses were, for some reason, for, when we first found his body, they were covered in blood. Uh, but in, in, when we find them both in the repository, it's clean. Uh, hammers. This one was found wet, as it recently washed. Uh, the repository door was locked when we were searching for the body, but when it was rediscovered, somehow been unlocked. Someone clearly went in there. Yes, but in locked it inside, but the exit elevated in the door, so that's a bit odd. That's the that's, tire marks. Yep. Glasses cleaning cloth. Plus the count. Fumi's body disappeared when Celeste and Aoi went to the nurse's bathroom. Or nurse's bathroom, no, nurse's office to use the bathroom. Really? We're gone for a minute through, so in between that time, somebody moved his body. Somebody hauled Fumi's ass up to the third floor. Like actual. <laughs> Yasuhiro's note, meeting the dining hall. Handwriting is remarkably clear. So that's clearly Yasuhiro's handwriting when they were meeting in the dining hall before people died. Yes. Robot Justice Blueprints. They were found in Yasuhiro's room. So, fun thing about this, you do uh, analysis on handwriting. They don't really match up. They don't match. Yep. Robot Justice costume, nobody be is. It was perfectly fit for only Yasuhiro. And anybody who's they couldn't see their feet and would not be able to bend at the waist at all. Apparently, Yashiro received a curious note last night. To note read, I found a hole. Maybe we hey, come on. can't find out, so don't direct that one. So someone told them to meet up there. Get talk his wristwatch broke. Pointing past six o'clock. Confirmed that late last night, the watch still worked. So this was 6 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Scrap of paper, get like his lifeless hand. And Hifumi's note, and rip matches. Kinda? Yep, so Hifumi had the note that Kiyotaka was holding. Yeah. It was in his pants. And fucking Yoko's just like, oh, there's no problem with reaching to a guy's pants. Yeah. Also, like, huh? fun thing. This writing right here mm -hmm. matches up with this. Mm -hmm. So, that's so you think whoever wrote that note also wrote the Robo Justice blueprints? Yeah. Okay. There's one last thing, which is the ECAM book, which is coming up at the play again. Yes. So handbooks are evolving. So go up. Time. Yeah. Oh, go, don't go back to the. The owner's name is displayed each time the handbook is booted up, okay. Yeah, this, it's non involved But, it's, but it's still a bullet, so it might come up. At mm. some point. Okay. Uh, you yeah. wanna set some skills? Let's Whatever see skills we got. Lost and Slot. We already have those. If they have, the, if they have the gun, it's the Should have, yeah. Breathing technique. Focus, gouge, progress, or quickly. That's actually pretty good if you focus a lot. Yeah. Increase damage to... Droid. Yeah. That's that's about it. That's it. They don't get skills that often. For the two and three. Trial starts. All right. Let's begin I'm surrounded by dead people. Of the class Man. So your vote How's it going, sign? Oh, doing great. How's it going, other sign? Who died? <laughs> it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one. Yeah, we know. And I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. I just realized Monokuma's right. chair is missing. Yeah. It has like stairs going up to it, but there's a step just gone. Probably jump past the fucking now way. Like, then, fuck up. To begin with, we already know who did it. Who? Was that? It was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it! You killed them! 
I did. Double sus. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Check your murdering note, murderer. Who are you calling a murderer? Actually, <laughs> I am sorry to say, hero, but we do have evidence. What evidence do you got? But I also have evidence that it's Let's like turn off not the voice. Him. Can we turn off the voices real quick? Uh, I can quiet. barely hear them. Jeez. Voice all the way up. It's probably just because my fucking. Yeah, it's probably. Blueprint for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it, and all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I, 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 don't, turn know. On the... I don't know. I don't know. This happens every time we do. A yeah, it session. happens. But the music's good though. There we go. That's fine. All right. Yeah. You're really the killer. Or before anything else, we have to make that clear. Okay. I have to remember, uh, slow down is what, space? Yeah, it is. Okay. And... Yeah, these switch switches around that. Everything we found in your room. Uh, right click. Uh, uh. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are... Proof enough that you are a stiff for that robot costume. I don't know anything about that stuff! Fucking it's Transformers so fans. <laughs> oh god. Oh, yeah. Why? What? No! No. Oh. Yeah, I already see it. Compelling evidence that he wrote. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all Yeah. No, we're already getting into the fucking the deep shit. Right. We're already getting into the handwriting. Are you sure Hero really oh. made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote, asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? Yes, he really- he literally writes in Times New Roman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you compare it to the blueprint. And here's Comic Sans over here. <laughs> yeah. My handwriting, actually, if anything. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. Don't talk, please! Too high for that! Are you saying you don't think Hero's the culprit? And he is not the only one. I think Hero's innocent. We have Miyaki on our side? Yo! Finally! We got a fucking trunk! <laughs> We're down on second base! <laughs> <laughs> Who was in that Robo Justice suit? Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? Probably a room we couldn't investigate. The suspicious the individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. How am I supposed to know? You already know who it was, who it was in this. In who was the only person we know was at the suit? Hero, but he's playing the game. I'm fucking. I'll give you the answer. Who was in the Robo Justice suit? Illuminati! <laughs> uh, Hero or Hina? It can't be Hina. Hero. He's the only one who's you know has been in that suit. I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Yeah. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit. And we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption! And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. But before we get to that, I'd like there's to something else we need <laughs> no, to clarify here. first. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! About the time of death. What do you mean, trying to boss us around? Like, 
We are trying to solve a murder! All exactly. Have a proper order. So, what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. It that. would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Now we're used to move Taka's body. They were... I think... Past Shit. Yeah, this. I got it! Still one more thing. How many times are we gonna say I got it? <laughs> dolly and a tarp, right? That's true. So let's see if I can explain. Hey man, it's good. <laughs> no, don't no, please. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. I just had a really bad idea. What well, a stupid thought. You know how his body was like face so down like just, dead. yeah. <laughs> Even in death he's doing the- Oh my oh. god. <laughs> he's doing the pill pose. <laughs> and then, I, I wanna think, when they fucking drag him off on the dolly, they just fucking slide. What? <laughs> 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 like a missile? Yeah. <laughs> He's still doing the fucking Later, pencil pose. Later, Taka's body reappeared in the repository. He's still doing so it. He's, he's kind of doing it though. <laughs> he's just doing it like this stuff. Yeah, his hands are up now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking to dive. You know we. Those, you see, they use the dolly to move the body. Am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? I mean, there's not really any other way, is there? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? There is no shame in being wrong. Nobody expects much from you anymore. I just solved two murders! <laughs> Fuck you, I have you evidence! Really the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. No, I do! I've never seen that one sound so nice when we call me. Fine. Full time battles already. Alright. Absolutely! Yeah. Talk about reload. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> We're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. Ready right, for the next bullet time battle? We're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. Bottom of the screen underneath the temple marker. Ammo count. Up till now, there has been a limit on how to write your statements. Now on, just fucking on the pressing house button. Now it costs you one bullet to destroy the marker. Bullets again. Ever you can. This is the rhythm game, right? Yeah. Okay. So you have to press tab and save the tempo, like when. Yeah. Also, in fever time, you have it minute, which yeah. is when you press. Okay. So we're already doing this. Uh. When you reload, you reload two bullets. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Reload. Oh no, there's there's a uh, item that lets you reload. I cannot agree. You are fools. Two times. I want it. You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are fools. Wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Do your worst. 
miserable wretch. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. I'll strike. I cannot agree. This should prove it. That was yeah, was pretty good on that. I actually, was, uh, there's a certain rhythm. Give to the fucking yeah, have it right here. Start doing it up. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. It was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it. Man, and can people stop spilling their head. fucking Pepto Bismol? Like, I know your stomach's hurt and all after seeing murder, but you really gotta clean up after yourself, dude. Giant puddle, and it was like, how many bottles of this is it? Like, where the, where the fuck are you getting all this Pepto Bismol? On a crib, just surrounded by Pepto Bismol. Haha, yes, <laughs> this isn't actually money, it's all Pepto Bismol. That's the motive. <laughs> the killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. <laughs> well, yeah. anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah, the subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then what kind of robot is it? I'm not sure that really matters. I'd be happy to explain it's a why sip the destroyer. Of the That's what it is. Possibly be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. Clear why the person has done it. What does he mean by that? I think... yeah. You are correct. Come in. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. <laughs> and from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? That's what I mean. The culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Well, yeah, but even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. Bend over? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I'm back! <laughs> oh my god. You're absolutely right that you could push Hands a returns. dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think back to it's what the you anti said. No, I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say. I was not even gonna say what I was Commit to it. We already have <laughs> so many sex jokes. Just commit. It's the anti rape machine. We can't bend over. It's like. <laughs> Out of here, can't see my feet at all. I'm Plus, hair is blue again. again for some reason. Telling you, it wasn't me. Not to mention, probably can't bend at the wind. Probably not good. Come back up when the corner. You're in the suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? Now that you mention it, yeah. Seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. Well, what's to stop you from simply pushing the dolly with your feet? When you can't even see your feet? You really think someone could kick the dolly all that way? Yeah, it'd be totally impossible. Not that I can say for sure myself. On top of that, if you were wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body. Yeah, that's like, uh, yeah. Just, just thinking about how stiff that would be. Yeah, you have to like lay like, down and crap. Like, oh, oh, like <laughs> it's like, like old like PlayStation games. Where I just, just like the guy standing in post pro just. <laughs> I just ground. I just thought it's best example. Yeah. Fucking Minecraft Steve enemy. Oh my god. That's how it's working. <laughs> Except he can't bend. Costume would take it off the body. Can't take it off. So, yep. Again. I don't think taking off the suit was an option. If you remember. Oh, not... ah, okay. 
no, 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 what's up with this thing? I can't, I can't get out of this fucking Transformers Optimus Prime suit, bro. I don't want to die just like in the movie. <laughs> Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? That's all. 30. Have a truck. Gotta go. That's true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without him. Then, you really can't take it off by yourself? No! Hero Fuck wasn't it. just making it up? Shit. No, it of course I wasn't making it up. If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think you would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect it. Yeah, that's right! So... It's really, really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? Yes! To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? No, wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by ah, Robo Justice? <laughs> That image <laughs> if whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? How did he get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Normal justice. Uh, I need to decide what to call him just now. Yes, I'm gonna do his voice so for one last time, bitch. Exist, Back from the dead! I returned. Question. I am the shrew mastermind. Haha. <laughs> the world will now become anime. <laughs> the individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hero, without a doubt. Without a doubt, and then there's the million other things that we have doubts about. Yeah. It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it. Before we rush to a verdict, shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps. Every angle! Let's start at zero here. degrees. One degree, two degree, three degree, four degree, five degree. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, what would we do for me? Six degree, seven degree. Let's degrees. review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. Maybe we'll uncover something new. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! Yeah, not wrong. I don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes. What we degree have to were we on it. again? Oh, yeah, eight? Okay. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. Alright then, let's take another look back at what happened. I suppose we could start with this morning. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We were all eating some cinnamon toast crunch cereal. <laughs> Add extra more to this shit. <laughs> we waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up. Fine, I so guess we I get all the cinnamon while. toast crunch to myself, fuckers. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room, and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. No, she's paying at Seven. I yeah. know it was an hour, because I remember being attacked a little after seven. When I saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo Justice. It also soon became clear I'll pay that for the your same simping, Robo Brian. Justice had a no! I didn't mean to simp! I'm sorry! <laughs> he soon joined you in our search for Yaku and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office... Wrong. Saw a shadow. I found you. <laughs> I found you, Faker! Faker! 
Yeah, I think you're the fake one. <laughs> <laughs> really? decided to split up and search the second floor. And soon after that, Fuck. I saw someone moving around on the third floor. And I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. I found Shadow the Hedgehog! I found him! He's the faker! God. That was a rather intense scream for someone like I saw him, the strange costume man in the first suit. Shadow the Hedgehog! He ran off! Speed of light! Shadow the Hedgehog! How <laughs> Too he... fast for the naked eye! How... Shadow the Hedgehog! How did you get to this joke? <laughs> no! Because she said Shadow. Oh, fucking That's it. god. And then... And then... Uh, oh, huh? Racism? What was that? <laughs> from downstairs. It must have been Shadow the Hedgehog. He's being racist again. Filthy black creature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like, he's back. I'm all gonna go back. At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. You know, while we're on this topic, I had an argument with, with or, Yeah. We had this really stupid argument on whether or not Hina could be considered black. Or tan. Why? This was the fucking argument. We it what it got sound so bad we started go, we started looking up scientific fucking statistics for mel for melanin. <laughs> We're like, okay, so what constant what is the line between tan and black? Let's figure this out. God. <laughs> Whole ass fucking ace attorney fucking. <laughs> While Sakura, Yakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the nurse's office, we found him boom, dead. And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Who pissed Beth Bismol on his head? That's pretty... Pretty disrespectful, not gonna lie. Yeah. Kill him and piss Beth Bismol on his head. headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. We must have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time. Holy shit! So much Pepto Bismol that his blood has become it! <laughs> this point looks like because it's no like production. Yeah. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us. And she told us something very surprising. But his body has disappeared. We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was- The man ready. has fallen into the river of Lego City. Then we, God, we must we find them. Coco passed out in the equipment room, so we hurried back again. Can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? Where's all this but Pepto Bismol there, from? I can't be seeing this. Taka's body had also gone missing. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And after some time. Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository. Who the first account that bodies from account were found? Also for account on just this oh, photo. Let me, let me, can I just get a different chair? Cause like, yeah. I am. Like, yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to Oh, I don't know. The characters are not suspecting us, but like, actually, this that camera to have like a time remote. What are you talking about? Like, uh, who's the camera? Like, uh, like a no, it's pretty much just like a toy camera. Uh, I'm pretty Tuesday sure they mentioned that before. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I 
think that about covers. I see. Fucking good. The whole thing Audience. sounds exceptionally complicated. Like, that shit is so fucking, like... It uh, certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. Okay, well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. Contradictions happened to Taka. First, I'll cover the truth this case I'll find it no matter what. Right? <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> There's a game from Sen. Hanging around for Yeah, it, it's, the, it's the fucking not stuff today, and the first thing you see is Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> Regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before he threw me, or perhaps it was after? Who died first? We already know what order they were killed in. Uh, did he die? Or? Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice. The numbering. No, oh, okay, I'm wrong. Shit. Don't make me so scary like that, Shit. no. Shit! Shit! I lost, I lost HP! Everyone's just looking at him like, what the fuck are you thinking about HP? Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed, Taka came last! What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the, the Justice numbering. Hammer! The numbering, ooh! It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3, while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 3. So yeah, I'm not sure. I know which one. Uh, you were correct in what? Oh, what bullet? Bullet. So, uh, regarding Taka's death, so, from I here in he obvious. Oh so, yeah. We already know what order they were killed in. No. Wait. Fuck. What? What? What do you mean? What? Shoot. Fuck. Okay. Well, so, you're killing me. Taka's death. I wonder if he died before he threw me. They check the press X and you check the. Back to the Ivanakuma file 3. It doesn't say the order. No. Okay. And the other one would be. Uh. Yes. Girls account. Nah. This is. What is it? Fun. Yes, yeah, this. No. Yeah, it's not relevant so, at all. No. So it would be the Broken Whisper. Yeah, because that's the only thing I really call into time. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. Oh, I think I might know what you have to it's do. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3, while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. File? Do you want me to give you a hint? So yeah, remember they can scan words. Save them. Oh yeah, that's right. What was it like? Left click? It was hold left click. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Regarding Taka's, I wonder if he died. What the hell? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hit. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me about that. Yeah, I, I just didn't think you remembered. Yeah. Nobody remembers about scanning. Hold on. There's no reason to assume that the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. If anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. Or they could just be numerically illiterate. So you're saying the culprit? So what comes us to before think three? The hammers were used in order. Four. <laughs> But in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Okay then, let's see the proof. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I'll be the rest of Oh boy! Hangman's Gambit, the question, does Bruno Marx is gay? Oh god. Go. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ, this is a lot. Okay. Um... Alright, let's figure out the word. Proof. Press watch. I be a just imagine fucking 
while he's thinking of the word, he's just getting there like that. There is. In real time. Everyone's just like, is he, is he, is he, is he good? He's just, he's just standing there with his eyes closed, man. Bitch. Here we go. Now I understand. Now I understand how to spell. I got it. Papa's wristwatch. Yes. See? Look. It broke with the hands pointing just past six o'clock. It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer. Because as of last night. I have all tweets to get again! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, I lost my powers from dead! Use the Dragon Balls to revive me! That would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Hifumi. And before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. Well, Taka's so killed at 6. Past all of 7 o'clock, attacked by Robo Justice, Celeste. And later on, got Hifumi's body. Wait, 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 go back. So, Taka died first. Yes, he died at 6. Then... At 7, Plus got attacked, and who got dragged away. Supposedly. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer, and had them increase in size. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Now, if Taco was killed around 6, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder. But all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's right. With him, at least, we're all safe. Please, stop being racist! These children, these fucking students, cannot hold themselves back, I swear. When we heard him yeah. screaming, we were all together. Except for Hiro and Kyoko. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office. Look how small his legs are. Ow! What? What? Most of the arms and legs as well, like it's it doesn't just disproportionate like that. He's just a fucking circle with sticks on each end. Literally a stick figure. Yeah, it's just one big circle. Fucking don't like a say that. Yeah. That's totally true. We're all in the clear. Oh, I know. They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on. With what? Hammer should be able to take videos. No. No. If that's true, where's the tape? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just go making stuff up. Anyway, we all have rock solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. Oh, that 300 pound ass up there. When his body vanished from the nurse's office. Super strength, fucking. <laughs> like, how did nobody hear the fucking sweat coming from, like, whoever's carrying him? Yeah. And then, I'm just loving you just catch the murderer like halfway through and just like the body. Oh shit! <laughs> and then he fucking trips and falls and gets crushed and then he dies. Da, 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 da. <laughs> At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Hifumi was missing, huh? You know what they annoying? Yeah. I, I just might be calling out a future kid. What if someone killed someone, but then someone kills that murderer? I mean, and then kill someone else. One person can kill. Oh, yeah, that could time. be. That could be possible. It is possible. That would be a. F 
after this. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time. Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then. Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Ifumi's body. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Besides, I didn't do either of them anyway. I mean, yeah, she has beat out, but... Yeah. How is the actual serial killer still alive all this way? How is the serial killer like, one of the most innocent people ever? <laughs> I know! <laughs> On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared, so they most certainly could have done those things. So the only person who didn't have an alibi, Hiro, Hiro and Kyoko, like while the hoop died. But Hiro was confirmed that he was knocked out. Yeah. And Kyoko is staying silent. Yeah. Hmm. For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. Just like so this fucking who, stadium. I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. This brute oh, force. Someone hold ass. That's true. Like, let's we'll go back. Everywhere. Let's let's go go to report mm -hmm. card real quick and uh, it's like three hundred. Uh, 342. Yeah. Yeah, uh... That's no. 120 more pounds than... Probably about, like, 20. And according to what Celeste said... <laughs> Couldn't have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Then the killer was able to get in and move his body in that short amount of time? Seems so. So he didn't His hear the fucking profuse fucking breathing coming from this guy carrying him. Eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third in that short amount of time? Oh man, yeah. There's no way. It'd be impossible. With the power of weed, maybe. But I was locked in a locker. None of you can get my weed powers. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? Don't tell me you just fuck. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's add the video here at the stupid ass cliffhanger. Wow. Yay.